The tug of war with City Hall and the judge has been over secrets. Only she knows how some $2 million the court collects is spent. Only she controls that money. There's also the issue of how people are treated when they have the misfortune of being summoned to her court. Some are denied access altogether. It's been a months-long heavyweight fight between the mayor, council, manager, and treasurer of Inkster City Government and the woman many suggest is the queen of city politics. Inkster's only judge for more than 20 years has been Sylvia James, the chief judge who wants everyone to know her 22nd District Court is a busy place. She presents stacks of case files to demonstrate her daily workload, in part to show why she's so protective of her court, her domain. Beginning with the sign that insists only business attire is allowed in Judge James' courtroom. Security officers decide if your clothes meet the judge's standard, and when they don't, people like process server Joseph Kassab are denied access, not even allowed to see a court clerk. This is what he was wearing the day he was turned away. It's kind of crazy, you know, they tell you to come to court, and when you get there, they say, we well, can't come in here, and then, you know, you're automatically found guilty. Kassab was sent to a nearby St. Vincent de Paul to buy secondhand clothes to match the judge's rules. Attorney David Finling has filed a lawsuit on Kassab's behalf. You still have to let them in the door. And what Judge James' policy does is it bars people at the gate. It doesn't even give them the chance to say, hey, judge, I'm here. Only her rules are allowed in her court, but when it comes to the rules of the city of Inkster, council members say Judge James ignores them. For instance, they say the judge has failed for months to pay the city's portion of court proceeds, tens of thousands of dollars per month, making it nearly impossible for the council and others to develop city budgets. David Jones is the city's attorney. The 22nd District Court has been slow, uh, as much as six months behind in transferring that revenue that the court collects. They complain that you don't pay them on time. That well, you're three, four, five months would back. you like to know why? Because they stopped paying the bills. The city disputes how late any payments were, but the Inkster treasurer has raised a red flag about the courts hiding its financial dealings. Mike Canty is a city councilman. And when he tells me that this court don't pass the smell test, I have to stand up and listen. When the city decided the judge's request for a clothing allowance and gun allowance was against the rules, the judge paid herself $1,950. It's an expense the state Supreme Court says is not authorized. The biggest dispute centers on the court bank accounts. The judge has refused to open the books on four court bank accounts or run audits for several years. The city council voted unanimously to have the names of the city manager and the treasurer added to those accounts. Her response? That could not happen. And let me also add, at that point, I had been here for 21 and three-fourth years. It had never been an issue. Just one day after the council vote to get access, the judge closed the accounts, taking about a quarter of a million dollars to another bank that only she has access to. The issue here for some people mm -hmm. is transparency and accountability. When you pull that money out, that seemed to go away. You will see that there is a letter from the regional court administrator who indicated that that could be done. The letter the judge is referring to from State Supreme Court Regional Administrator Deborah Green says it's up to the local entities to decide. You made the unilateral decision to pull those funds. No, 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 no. She that... said she didn't, but provided no proof it didn't happen that way. I think it's fair and understandable for people to be suspicious giving that action, but there's only one thing that will quiet the suspicion, produce the records to anybody that requests them. We've asked Judge James to show us the bank accounts. Does the balance withdrawn from Chase match the deposit in the new bank? But a week has passed and still no answer. The city wants to review three years of bank records, and they too are still waiting. The investigators will stay on top of the story and ask you to go to WXYZ.com and share your experiences with Judge Sylvia James. Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News.